What's up everybody, this is Reese from C-Manga and welcome to my review of Fairytale Chapter 460, Pegasus Descends. And, uh, that was it. I swear, I felt shortchanged with that chapter. It's like, while well, he didn't last long at all, just when I was kind of thinking, ah, oh, you know, how are they going to beat him? Um, it ended up being with the power of friendship. So like, seriously? Um... Well, first off, I have to say, obviously, I did kind of call it with the whole itchy and stuff. You know, he came in with all that big talk and got, like, well, bitch slapped. Um, but on another note, um, what was with all that comedy stuff? Seriously, I thought this was kind of going to be a serious battle. I mean, this is a big war, right? It is kind of like looking at the final climax of fairy tale. The whole, the Tyrus demons, they were so much more serious. And I love that about them. I love that arc. It's so like the whole beginning with like Ichio having so many weaknesses that Wall couldn't kind of focus on one. It was kind of silly, you know. It just didn't really feel. I felt like it didn't really fit. So like deep down, I was kind of hoping that Ichio would kind of pull off something serious. But all in all, he's just a comic relief character, you know. The whole lightning weakness for Wall was kind of cool. Um, you know the way he kind of overcame his own weakness by turning the lightning into a power source to strengthen himself up. Um, and then for them to kind of go on to say that Luxus would be the worst opponent for him to fight. But my only problem with this is just how quickly it was defeated in the end. You know, the power of heart overcomes everything. That to me is just kind of weak writing in my opinion. It's just a bullshit power boost, you know? But I guess the whole way they defeated the weakness bots um, did kind of make sense in the end. You know, it was a team fight. Of, it was a team situation, obviously. Um, if you're facing an opponent that's giving you a problem, you can just switch, you know? So, for example, obviously, yeah, Juvia, she ended up taking on the fire guy. Grey took on the steam guy, Lissana the speed type, Mira the power type, and Elfman the emotion type. I guess that's what you can kind of call it, seeing as how we were playing on emotions. Um, so yeah, the Raijin crew they ended up doing the same thing with Ever and Bixor swapping, you know, so obviously their magic can finally work. But my main problem with it was that it's like, why is it so easy? You know, honestly, this chapter just really, really rushed this battle. It just went straight through it without any consideration for anything. It's like, nope, just need to get to the end of it. When it kind of got to the point with um, Freed almost giving up hope because obviously everyone's being overwhelmed, um, and then Luxus obviously is trying to get in, get in touch with him and say he can't get there. He's just like, no. I really did like that scene, you know. It kind of did produce a really good moment. You know, you can kind of like feel their struggle. How it's like, they want to protect Luxus, but it's like he's the one who's always protecting them. So this time they want to do a complete role reversal. Um, I guess I was kind of just under the impression that obviously this arc, it had such a good premise, you know? Um, but they just then had to go and pull that whole power of friendship bullshit. Honestly, I was hoping that maybe, I don't know, the other members of Blue Pegasus would come in and help, like, come into the rescue. Hell, it's like, it could have been the case that Grey's team, they'll be overwhelmed. Some of Blue Pegasus um, and any other guilds could have came in, helped them out. Even Natsu's group, it would have been so easy to kind of put Sting and Rogue just come in and help them take out. Um, the whole West support kind of thing would have helped them take out all of them. It's like, but after, you know, then afterwards they kind of all get together, like get ready for the next big main wave to kind of um, take them all out together as one. It's like, no, we are, th we are Magnolia, you know, we're going to take them out. It's like, they can't come, in, they can't come over to our sides and try to fight us. It's like, we're all friends, you know, that right there is a good power friendship type thing. Not the whole power friendship makes me more powerful, but it's like, this is, these are our bonds, you know, these are the, all the bonds that we've made from all the other guilds. Uh, but I guess the kind of final strike that Itchy and Freed gave um, while, oh my god, it's kind of frustrating, you know, because it kind of hyped up the fact that oh, Luxus wouldn't be able to fight him, you know, because he would just get more and more powerful. The guy got even a power boost, you know, he's in another form, which did, I've uh, granted, look kind of stupid, but still, you know, he's in a new form, and then for them two to kind of like, oh, we've actually we've taken out this West Wing now, you can fight properly, you can take down your shield, and then it's like, cool. They then went out both um, Freed and Itchia, took him out with one punch. It was like, why hype him up if you're going to beat him so easily? You know? All the Spriggans were hyped up so much and they've all dropped like flies now. It just doesn't make sense to me. Ah, but obviously ran over. I guess all in all my main disappointment with this chapter was just it felt so rushed. I kind of felt like, oh, he didn't want to spend too long on this fight because he has a lot more to get through. You know, he wants to just wrap this bit up quickly because it's like the first initial wave of attack, then get through the Brandish interrogation, then finally bring in all of Zerus team. So then you've got to fight Zerus himself. You've got Aglodia coming with his dragons. Maybe the dragon says dragons will turn up and help out again as well. 
there's a lot more granted there's a lot more that he needs to get through and i don't know if there's like a chapter constraint thing that he's work trying to work to maybe he wants to get it all done before he hits um chapter 800 or 700 like naruto did something like that but either way this chapter just felt really sloppy you know it was just there was such a good premise there for it but the execution just wasn't there in my opinion so yeah on that down a note that is pretty much it for me with this chapter guys um obviously you can tell i was disappointed with this chapter but i'm really interested to hear what you guys thought about this chapter you know let me know in the comment section below did you like it was you happy with it was you disappointed did you like picture this is the way this is gonna go hell do you even like do you like all the comedy that's been happening in the last two chapters let me know in the comment section below and as usual don't forget to check out things on the channel so i'll see you next time